Good morning, everybody. Alex here from Snake on Exotics, and it's back on delivery day. So, what da da da? We've got big, big delivery again, and hopefully, it's all mine. So, we've got it. Uh, just. Uh, it's all mine. <laughs> so, we've got all these. I think I've got another delivery coming from another supplier, and then. Um, then halfway through the week, we've got another delivery from another supplier. So we should be going mad this week. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share for me. We're going to open all the boxes. And we're going to get some jobs done and do some stuff. So uh, I'll, see you in a few, I'll see you in a bit. We'll open our first little box. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's an air plant. It's the air plant. It's a lot of packaging for a little tiny plant. Where's the rest of the plants? I ordered like six. Oh, I don't know, they're slacking with the suppliers today. Slacking they are. We don't need this. <laughs> so what are we doing next, Mago? She's opened a box without me. She's gonna get sacked. She's gonna get sacked. Ah, we didn't knock in her. We didn't knock in her. Oops, so there's that one. What's we got in there? What's we got in here? Oh, we've got tortoise little balls. Tortoise little balls. Probably more of them. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got a slightly different bowl. Slightly bigger. we got some tongs. We likes tongs. we got some ammonia pads. We've got some neutral rep. Multivitamin supplement. What else we got? What else? It's, it's a big box. We're gonna have to do stages. We have to do stages. Got more filter pads. More filter pads. Oh, you can open that one, Mego. See, Mego's got a new new knife. New knife. So these ones are the phosphate pads. Yes. These ones are the nitrite. No. no. Yeah, nitrite. Oh cool <laughs> 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 yes, we got a pirate ship, Meg. I ordered a pirate ship. Look at my pirate ship. Yes, yes, it's a beast. Yes, it's a beast. Oh, I'm gonna have to take it out properly. Look at it. Look at it. It's got holes in it and everything. Wow, oh, that is cool. That is cool. So that's going to go in the fishy section. Ready for the fishes. It's got a little bit of glue. Here we go. Look at that. Proper job. So we've got spare fuses for the exoterra. No, microclimate. Microclimate. Go careful. It might be another pirate ship. You've got to be careful. You've got to be very careful just in case. Just in case. Oh. Oh, it's a castle! It's a castle! Oh, yes. He likes a castle. So we're going to pick him up. Come on, castle. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. pull the bag, Meg. Pull the bag. Big reveal. Oh, ta, 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 ta. That's the back. So good. Oh. Proper castle. Yes. So you can have a pirate ship fighting your castle. That's what you could have. So you need a pirate ship coming up to attack the castle. We've got another box. What's we got in the next box? Ooh. Nothing in there. So we've got spray bottles. We like spray bottles. There we go. Uh, we've got some bulbs. We love bulbs. Keeps everybody warm. There we go. Keeps everybody warm. And we've got cages, it keeps everybody safe. Happy days, I think that's everybody. That's everybody in that one. Here we go. Oh, we got... I've bought just bubble wrap. That's all I've bought. Yep, let's see, look, it's just more bubble wrap. Yes, yes. Good to How much bubble wrap? How much bubble... Oh, did it survive? Uh, I don't think so. Is that cracking it? I'm not sure. Hmm, we'll have a look, see if we can get it out. 
So I've deduced it is a scratch. So what we're going to do now is we've got the new tank that got brought to us yesterday or day before and I've got the stand for it now so hopefully we should be able to build the stand get it up there and we get an idea of what a little circle of exoterras is going to look like so uh, we're going to build this now see how we get on and then hopefully it's going to look good it doesn't look out of place so my idea is so here we'll have a nice circle of exoterras back to back and then um, hopefully that'll look nice and then we're going to have some small stuff in the middle with all like the uh, frogs and all that stuff on so uh, hopefully I might get some more stuff laid out, but uh, see how we get on. See what we've got in the box. Okie dokie then. Oh -ha. We don't need no instructions. Well, we probably do actually, to be fair. Uh, yeah, that looks a little bit complicated. So we've got loads of bits and bobs. So we'll start at number one. And it says we need the panel, we need to put some clips in and add a little little bishy bosh to it. Which is that's the bishy bosh. We've got to put the bishy bosh on. And then uh, we'll have a look. So we'll take it apart and get all the bits out, and we should be okay. I've opened it up. You can see I've pulled out we've got a nice thick piece of wood we have. Nice big piece of wood. So I think we found all the bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Now that is a screw. Remember now. That's a proper screw, that is. Um, I think I've found panel number one. So, panel number one looks like that. So, we should have four holes in one place there for that. Yes, yes. And then it says two dots over there. Yes, we've got them. I think that's the panel. So, We'll have another look through, double check, but I think that is number one. So I was right, this is number one, so this is what we need to start with. But I've laid out all my bits and bobs, so we know exactly what we got. And we're going to start building, so I'm going to do this now, and I'll show you the next steps. There we go, number one is finished. So we've got a doohickey. That's what the doohickey does. So we've got little bits and bobs in places, so hopefully that's all we need to do on this one. And we can move on to panel number two. Now we're going to try and find out who is panel number two. So it says hashtag four and five. That doesn't help me at all. So, ah, that's hashtag four and five. Um, hmm. We'll find out which ones they are and put them in. Found it. Hashtag four and five. So, um, we need the bracket. And then we need the pushy uppers and some screws. So we do that. That was easy. So I'm gonna skip the next one because it's the same thing and I'll show you what I do on the next one. Next bit needs proper teamwork. So we need to stand it up and do some jiggly wiggly stuff with it. So we've got Mego here picking up the slack. So what we need to do, we need to put slack number one into hashtag three and four, two, four and five. So somehow we gotta get this to go into there. So, we're going to try and do it. Okay, so order steady, Mego. Order steady. 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 Steady, Mego. Steady. To me, to you, to me, daddy. There you go. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Ah! <laughs> I can't do it. What happened? Ready? We're going to do it. 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 Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Your bit's got to go down a bit. There we go. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, Mego. Position in position. Stay still. We're ready now. I'm going to have to tighten all these up and it's going to hold it all in place and then we can do all these. Ho, ho, ho. Quick, 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 quick. Do, do, do. No, it's a toit. Toit is a toiger. Oh. There we go. So Mega's let go. So now we should be able to just screw those screws into there. 
and we should be laughing. Oh, we've done it. So, what are we on? We're on stage number four. Whoa, ho, ho. means we've got to start messing with the glass. They want us to put some, some metal divots, some metal clip with the divot, and then we want a metal buffer on it. So, uh, hashtag six, we'll do that. Go. So there is a little bit of plastic you have to put in there to stop the screws marking the glass and give it something to grip on. There's our little buffer for the magnet and there's our little other one at the bottom. So now we're on to number five. Oh, so we've got to put that in there. So we've got to put the thingy in and put that on at the same time. Oh, let's pick a piece for the bottom. So I'm assuming the other one's got locator pins. Yes, it does. So we need the one with less holes. What you have to do, you have to get the door in while none of this is screwed, look. So then it gives you the wiggle room to get the door in, then you can screw it all up afterwards and the door won't come out then. So that's the idea behind that. So now, we're on to the big screws. So we screw these ones in, and that'll keep the bottom attached to the legs, and then we've got to do the top. We screwed her in, we got the footsies on, and all nice and fluffy. So let's flip her over. And then, uh, hopefully, we can put the top on and then we can put the tank on. Here we go. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. So, these are the little divots, I think. So, these, the tank goes over that like that and it stops it sliding on and off. So, um, that's the top of the screws. You want to screw them quite far in if you can. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pick it up, plonk it on, see what it looks like. And I'm thinking we're going to do another one here. Another one there, and another one going that way, so there'll be like a gap in the middle, and that gives me a place to put some cables and stuff and all the stuff we need. So, we're going to chuck it on there, see how we look. There we go. Looking good. So, we'll probably have one there like that. We may have one sunken in a little bit here. Another one here, and another one there. So, that'll be the plan. They may not all be this big, they may be a little bit smaller and stuff like that. But uh, that's the idea of having the ring of exoterras. And then we're going to have something smaller for the, the little frogs. We might put the little frogs over there on the new rack and I've just, we, me and Meg's just moved. Um, got to find a place for the fridge. I think the fridge is going to go in the back. So uh, we've all got plans. To, plans, plans, plans. Ooh, I do like that background, but they actually don't make that background anymore. Not in that colour anyway. So my friend Ellis, he had a little school project he did to do a little care sheet for a um, giant African land snails. So he's also done it for his friend as well, who's having their own, so he's done a little care sheet for them. And I thought, well, he's such a nice little lad. He said, I thought, well, bring some down some copies and we'll put them up in the shop and anybody has a giant land snail, they can take it with them and have the care sheet and they know how to do it. So he's brought down some copies so we can have a little look and see what he's done. It's very, very nice. Even laminated it, look. Look how that's proper job that is, proper job. So we've got Afri giant African land snail care sheet. He's done a good job on this. Yeah, no, I've done a good job. So you've got all the food, absolutely everything you could possibly desire. You've got why they need cuttlefish. We've got the habitat care. We've got the snail in itself. And we've got little facts. Well, snails are deaf. Snails can change to male and female. And that giant African land snails are the biggest species of snail. Mm. So we've got do not touch. We've got the eyes. We've got the eggs come from there. We've got the breathing hole underneath here. And we've got the tail. Cool, everything you could possibly want to know. Well, thank you very much, Ellis. We're going to find a nice spot on the wall for this. And it's going to go on the wall. We might do, if he, if he makes us a couple more, we might do care sheets from Ellis or tips and tricks from Ellis. And then uh, we'll put them on the wall and stuff like that. So we was meant to be having another delivery today, but they've sent it to my house for some reason. And then it's gone to the depot again. So I've had to ring them up and ring the suppliers and tell them to send it to the right address and tell them it's got to go to the right address. So I don't know. So for some reason it's gone to my house and gone to the depot and then I don't know why they sent it to my house of all places. I don't know why, but they did. So, I don't know. But what we've done today is we've, because I had the window cleaner in the other day, I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you if he did a good job. Look at this. Bing! So, and we've moved the shelf. 
So there was a shelf there, but I thought I've got a clean window. May as well use it. I don't know, really. So, nice clean window now. I'm going to put some small shelves in front of it. But we've moved it all to there. Da, 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 da. So, the only thing I've had to do, I've had to give up a gecko. I really did. He was in the way. He was in the way. So, we had to lose one gecko. So, I've got to find another spot for another gecko. So, I can hang my coat up. But we did a good job with that. I think that looks a little, looks nice there, all nipped, nipped away. And what I'm gonna do is, once we've got more room for everything else, these are going down, and then that's where all the bulbs are gonna be, behind the till, tucked away nice. Because that's where you want the bulbs. You don't want the bulbs out in the middle of the shop. You want them tucked away nice there, so that any, so they don't get knocked, they don't get banged, and you can keep an eye on them. So, what else are we gonna do today? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we're gonna have a look round. Mego's done some jobs for us. We're gonna have to see what Meg's been doing. And then um, that might be it for today then. I don't know how long I've been filming for. We've been on a cleaning spree today, so she's done all the floors. You can see them all damp from being mopped. Um, she's also cleaned all the shelves for me. So everything is absolutely spotless. So, and then she's doing more cleaning. She don't stop. What are you doing now, Mego? Cleaning our baskets. These are the baskets. So if you need to buy loads of stuff, you can put it in the baskets and toot it around the shop. So she's cleaning them for us. Lovely job getting them spotless. <laughs> just done a little job, that's all we've done. Is we just painted the sign again. So we've got none of the writing on there. So we can put some fresh writing on there and put it outside the front of any deals or any something we're doing special. So uh, that's all I've got time for today though. So please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. Ring the bell and give us a subscribe please because we're this close. We're this close. <laughs> so uh, if you want to watch another video there should be one there if you want to subscribe to the channel that lives up there and if you want to watch a playlist that lives up there so i'll uh, see you in the future bye